NFL star Adrian Peterson says he will take the field tomorrow when the Minnesota Vikings host the Carolina Panthers. The running back's announcement comes just hours after the brutal death of his two-year-old son. Terrell Brown is here with the latest. Terrell, good morning. Anthony Vanita, good morning to you. Police in Sioux Falls, South Dakota announced yesterday that the two-year-old boy died from injuries during an aggravated assault earlier this week. And they say the man who allegedly did it had just recently moved in and was in a relationship with the toddler's mother. Peterson mispracticed Thursday and hasn't directly addressed the reports. Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson returned to practice yesterday after a leave of absence for what his team described as a medical issue involving a young family member. A two-year-old, reportedly Peterson's son, died yesterday in this South Dakota hospital. In a Facebook post, the reigning NFL MVP wrote, Thank you to my family, my fans, and fans of other teams for their support. The NFL is a fraternity of brothers, and I'm thankful for the tweets, phone calls, and text messages from my fellow players. God bless everyone, and thank you so much. The man dating the baby's mother, Joseph Robert Patterson, allegedly beat the child and so far has been charged with aggravated felony assault and battery of an infant. Prosecutors expect to file more charges next week. Police say he was alone with the toddler in this apartment complex Wednesday when they responded to a call of an infant choking. Doctors later discovered something different. Once he was at the hospital, uh, the medical examiners found that he had some injuries that were not consistent with being accidental, but they were actually consistent with being abused. In an unrelated case last year, Patterson was charged with seven counts of assault for allegedly abusing another woman and her son. Last night, residents of Sioux Falls gathered for a candlelight vigil in memory of the two-year-old. Peterson has asked for privacy during the ordeal and told reporters yesterday he plans on using football to help him cope. Football is, um, is something I always fall back on. You know, it gets me through tough times. And, uh, you know, it's been around the guys in, in here. You know, uh, that's, that's what I need. I will be playing Sunday, without a doubt. For now, Patterson, the man accused of beating the baby, is being held on a $750,000 bond and faces up to 40 years in prison if convicted on both counts, Anthony. Terrell Brown, thanks, Terrell.